Shit like our own family. So I'm back with another video, picking up where we left off. Today's video, we're gonna read chapters six through 10. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born to them, that sons of God saw the daughters of men were fair. So they took them as wives and all whom they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not dwell in man forever, because he is flesh. Let his days be a hundred and twenty years. There were giants on the earth in those days. And also after that, for the sons of God came into came in unto the daughters of them, and they became giants who in the olden days were mighty men of renown. And the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he made man on the earth and grieved him in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy men whom I've created from the face of the earth, both men and animals and the creeping things and the fowl of the air. I'm sorry that I have made them. But Noah found mercy in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man, innocent in his days, and God was pleased with Noah. And Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth was corrupt in the presence of God, and the earth was filled with wickedness. And God saw the earth was corrupt, for all the flesh had corrupted its way upon the earth. So God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is full of wickedness through men, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark and gopher wood. Of gopher wood, okay. What? Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and daub it without and within with pitch. And this is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits. The breadth of it, 50 cubits. And the height of it, 30 cubits. The breadth. I'm assuming that's the width, y'all. The breadth of it, 50 cubits, and the height of it, 30 cubits. And you shall make a window in the ark. And to the width of the cubit shall you finish it above. And the door of the ark, you shall make it in its side. The floor, second, and third decks, you shall make it. And behold, I will bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh that has breath of life in it from under heaven and everything that is on the earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall enter into the ark, you and your sons, your wife and your son's wives with you, and every living thing of all flesh, two of every kind bring into the ark. Keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and animals after their kind, and every creeping thing of the earth after its kind. Two of every kind shall enter with you, that they may live, and you must take a supply of all food that is eaten, and you shall store it by you, and it shall be for food for you and for them. Thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Then God said to Noah, Enter into the ark, you and all your household, for you alone have I seen righteousness before me in the generation. All clean animals you shall take with you, seven pairs, both males and females. I didn't know that. I always knew it was two very kind, but it's seven pair. Okay. Likewise of the fowl of the air that are clean, seven pairs, both males and the females, to keep them posterity alive upon the face of the earth. For in seven days I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And every living thing that I have made will destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did according to all that the Lord commanded him. And Noah was six hundred years old when the flood waters came upon the earth. And Noah with his sons and his wife and his sons' wives went into the ark because of the waters flood. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of the waters came upon the earth. And Noah with his sons, his wife, and his sons' wives went into the ark because of the water's flood. Of clean animals and of unclean animals and of fowls and of everything that creeps upon the earth. There went into two and two 
with Noah and Noah, the males and the females, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood came upon the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, in the 17th day of the month, on that very day, all the fountains of the great deep burst forth, and the windows of the heaven were opened, and the rain fell upon the earth for forty days and forty nights. On that same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with him into the ark. They and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth after its kind, and every fowl after its kind, every bird of every sort. They went with Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, in which there is breath of life. And they that entered, males and females of every living thing, went in as God had commanded him. Then the Lord shut him in. And the flood lasted forty days upon the earth. And the waters increased and bore up the ark so that it was lifted up above the earth. And the waters prevailed and rose higher upon the earth. And the ark floated on the face of the waters. And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth so that all high mountains under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits above the mountains did the waters prevail. And the mountains were covered, and all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of the fowl, of the cattle, of the wild beasts, and every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth, and every man. Everything in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was dry land, died. And every living thing that was destroyed that was upon the face of the ground, both man and animals, and the creeping things, and the fowl of the air, they were destroyed from the earth, and no one only remained, and those who were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth a hundred and fifty days. And God remembered Noah and the animals and all the fowls that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind to blow over the earth, and the waters became calm. The fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were closed, and the rain from the sky was restrained. And the waters receded from the earth gradually, and after the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters abated. And in the seventh month, on the seventh day of the month, the ark rested upon the mountains of Cardo. And the waters decreased gradually into the tenth month. On the first day of the tenth month, the tops of the mountains were seen. And it came to pass at the end of forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. And he sent forth a raven which went to and fro, but did not return until the waters were dried up from the face of the earth. Then he sent forth a dove from the ark to see if the waters had abated from the face of the ground. But the dove found no resting place for her foot, and she returned to him in the ark, for the waters were still on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth his hand and took her and brought her into the ark with him. And he waited yet another seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came back to him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. Noah knew that the waters had subsided from the off of the Noah knew that the waters had subsided from off the earth, and he waited yet another seven days and sent forth a dove, but the dove did not return again to him any more. And it came to pass in the six hundred and first year, in the first month, in the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from off the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark, and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the twenty-seventh day of the month, the earth was dry. And God spoke to Noah, saying, Go forth out of the ark, and you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives with you. Bring forth with you every beast of every kind that is with you, both the fowl and the cattle and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, that they may breed abundantly on the earth and be fruitful and multiply upon the face of the earth. So Noah went forth, and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him. Every beast, every domestic animal, every fowl, and whatever creeps upon the earth after their kind went forth and out of the ark. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And then the Lord smelled the sweet savor, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the inclination of man's heart is evil from his youth, neither will I gain, neither will I again destroy any more every living thing as I have done. From henceforth, while the earth remains, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, 
be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all the moves, upon the earth and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that is alive shall be food for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things, only flesh with the life thereof, that is, the blood thereof, you shall not eat. And surely your lifeblood will I avenge. Of every beast will I avenge it. And at the hand of man, and at the hand of man of his brother, will I avenge the life of man. Whoever sheds the blood of men by men shall his blood be shed. For man was made in the image of God. As for you, be fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly on the earth and multiply in it. And God spoke to Noah and his sons with him, saying, As for me, behold, I will establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you. <laughs> and with every living creature that is with you, the fowl, the cattle, and every wild beast of the earth <laughs> with you, with all that came with all that come out of the ark and with every beast of the earth and I will establish my covenant with you so that never again shall all flesh perish by the waters of the flood neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth and God said to Noah this is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations and I set my bow in the clouds and I shall be for a sign of covenant between me and the earth and it shall come to pass when I bring clouds over the earth, and that bow shall be seen in the clouds. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me, you, and every living creature that is with you in all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood and destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the clouds, and I will look upon it as a remembrance of the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant which I have established between me and all the flesh that is upon the earth. The sons of Noah who went forth out of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and from them the people spread throughout the earth. And Noah began to till the ground, and he planted a vineyard. He drank of its wine and became drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham the father of Canaan saw the nakedness of his father, and he told his two brothers outside. And Shem and Japheth took a mantle and laid it upon him both. Their shoulders walked backwards and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they did not see their father's nakedness. When Noah awoke from his wine and knew that his younger son had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall be he to his brothers. Then he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and let Canaan be his servant. God shall enrich Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be their servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years, and all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Now these are the descendants and the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And to them were the sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth were Gomer, Mongolia, Madai, Chavan, Tubal, Meshech, and Teres, and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Daifar, and Togomar, and the sons of Javan, Elysia, Tarshish, China, and Duranian. It was from these that these people were divided into the islands of the Gentiles and their mainlands every one after his language, after their families, in their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, Mizoram, Put, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Sheba, Havala, Sabda, Arama, Sabdika, and the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Duran. And Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord, Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod was a mighty hunter before the Lord, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babylon, Erech, Akar, Kaliah, and the land of Sinar. 
out of Sinar went forth the Assyrian and built Nineveh in the city of Ribbohot and Kala. And Risen, which lies between Nineveh and Kala, the same is a great city. And Mizoram begot Ludum and Anam and Lebahim and Naphatim and Pathruzim and Kaluzim, out of whom came the Philistines and Capturim. And Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Heath, and the Jezboit, and Amorite, and the Gergesite, the Gergesite, and the Havite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvidite, the Zimmerite, and the Hamathite, and afterward the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the border of the Canaanites extended from Sidon, which is at the entrance of Gadar, as far as Gaza, which is the entrance of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboam, as far as Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families and their languages and their lands and their nations. To Shem, also the father of all children of Eber, the elder brother of Japheth, even to him were children born. The sons of Shem, Elam, Ashur, Apakashar, Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uzal, Gether, and Mash. And Arfkashar begot Shala, and Shala begot Eber. And to Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, for in the days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Jotkan. Jotkan. And Jotkan begot Amadad, Shipza, Shalif, Shalif, Hazamavith, Jera, Hadaram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal, Abimael, and Sheba. 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 Ofer, Havala, and Joab. All these were sons of Joktan. The lands which they inhabited extended from Mesha, which is the entrance of Sepharam, and Mount in the east. These are the sons of Shem, and after their families, their languages and their lands, and after their nations. These are the descendants of the sons of Noah, according to their families and their nations, and from these people spread abroad on the earth after the flood. They had some names back then, boy. I tell you what. Um, shalom. Till next time.